We're here. We're here. This, <laughs> to be this man, not Chris Rock, but to be Will Smith right now is a disgraceful thing. Um, first, we had this. I'm not even going to go to that part. Let's just play what happened the other night. Let's just play it. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> now notice he's laughing. <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh wow, wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a GI Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking. No! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, how he, you know, how he decides to keep his composure and keep calm and keep cool is beyond me because I'm telling you what. <laughs> if a dude smacks me, we got problems. You know, um, I don't care who you are. And I got hands, by the way. May not look like it, but I got hands, sir. So um, if a man smacks me, it's, it's going to be a problem. It's one thing to punch a dude. Okay, whatever. But a dude smacking you in front of everybody, that's, yeah, we got problems. But let's go back. First of all, this happened the other night. That's not even the real issue that I'm concerned with. The issue that I'm concerned with is every time that Will has gone through something, it's because of this woman right here. Let's play the clip. It's you and I were going through a very difficult time. Yeah. And we decided. I was done with your you, ass. Yeah, you kicked me to I the curb. I was done with you. Yeah. <laughs> We Marriages have that, dog. Yeah, Marriages have that. Yeah, we basically, mm -hmm. we broke up. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. Now, notice she says she got into an, uh, an entanglement, and this is involving August Alsina. And my thing is, okay, when you're separated and you are in divorce, that doesn't give you the right to necessarily step outside of that marriage. You still marry. <laughs> you know, you may have your problems or whatever. If somebody's not abusing you, things like that, talking to you verbally abusive, putting their hands on you, there's no reason why you should be messing with other people unless you both agree to do that. Which I'm pretty sure they did have an open relationship. But outside of that, I'm pretty sure there were some statutes that they put in place for each other. And look like Jada broke it. And even if she didn't break it, she brought it to the public. Especially knowing the type of people that they are. They aren't just anybody in this world that, you know, is... That you can just... Uh, it could be a fly-by-night thing where you talk about them today and forget them about tomorrow. This is Will Smith, man. Uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You know, Legend. All these other movies and things that he's done. He is a public figure you two are both public figures this is nothing to play with this is y'all's careers and not only that but he's a black man you're putting him under a microscope making him look like excuse my language but a pussy that's what you're making him look like like he's not even a man at all and this is the type of stuff that a lot of us black men are subjected to and there's nothing against black women i love black women but she puts him in such a bad position and if it if it didn't get any worse y'all she comes back it's, it's almost like she doubles down and 
comes back with this foolishness. Incredible. It it's really, hard. I know. I'm, I'm I sure. Mean, the thing that Will and I talk about a lot is the journey. I mean, we started in this at a very young age, mm -hmm. you know, 22 years old. It's crazy. That's why the accountability part really hit for me yeah. because I think yeah. you expect your partner to know, especially when it comes to sex. Right. It's like, well, if you love me, you should know. Right. Mm -mm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you love me, you should be able to read my mind. You should read my mind. Yeah. You no, know what I mean? That's a huge pitfall. That's a huge pitfall. Yeah, it is. I hate that. You know, I hate isn't that. it weird though? It's like someone doesn't read your mind and we feel crushed. Crushed. Like we feel so disappointed. Why do we, where do we get I that don't from? Know. Wait, I, I don't think know, because I don't feel like that at all. I guess, or maybe I've just grown out of it. I think it's you like probably... you gotta tell me what you <laughs> what you need. Like that's the stuff that I'm talking about. When you're married and or in your relationships, it takes work, man. And if you aren't willing to communicate with one another, it makes it very difficult especially in the bedroom because a lot of times if you aren't providing certain needs in the bedroom a lot of women will cheat on you a lot of men will cheat on you but nobody wants to talk about it everybody wants to fantasize about what this person can do to you what that person can do to you if you have a problem with what's going on in the bedroom talk about it there's no need to step outside of the relationship unless you just are a broken person broken people hurt people hurt people hurt people but if you're broken, you really hurt people and you don't care about it because guess what happens? You choose to choose your own happiness over everything else. And if you choose to be happy every day, all day, that's a sign of insanity. That's not normal. Life has balanced the negative, positive, life, death, God, devil. Everything has things to it for a reason this is your life you are if you are to see yourself as somebody uh maybe gold right we all know that gold doesn't just sit by itself there's other metals and rocks and debris and things like that that have to if you want that pure gold right you have to try it through the fire you have to in order to be refined you have to go through the fire remove all those metals and different debris out of there just to get that piece of gold that you're looking for we all know this life is the same way life tries you through the fire in order for you to be well tested to go through certain things and to get through certain things and that's what relationships are about and if you aren't talking to one another how are you supposed to know it don't work like that you know i understand their conversation and stuff like that specifically sexually but this is what I'm talking about. The more you open your mouth like this, the more it looks will, and the more it makes will look dumb. You know, and it's almost like she doesn't even care. Now, going back to what happened the other night, Will Smith got up there on stage, hit Chris Rock over a simple joke, a G.I. Jane 2 joke, which is okay and. It wasn't warranted those are words that he is naturally gonna do he's a comedian what else do you want him to say what else do you want him to do he's entertaining the masses and to me people say it's not staged but to me it looks staged we know good and well that the oscars academy awards whatever awards it was doesn't get much rating hollywood is done okay that's why you have people up here on youtube TikTok, things like that who are getting followers and Hollywood's uh, piggybacking off of those people who are entertainers and they're making the calls to call those people just so their followers can actually watch their programs, which is pathetic to me. That's desperation, but that's where Hollywood is now. Hollywood is done. All this uh, Me Too movement, pedophilia, pedophilia movement, the casting couch movement, it's over there's nothing else to it there's too much information out here people the word travels around fast jada will smith walked up there looking like a clown hitting chris rock and i'm pretty sure will was up there thinking oh well you know i'm gonna protect the integrity of my wife why she already put herself out there as a as a harlot 
there's no more that you can do she already put you the, out there to the world that you are a weak man and now was the moment to prove to yourself i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna look good in front of everybody and look like a fool is what you did for no reason you think she cares you think she really cares she's talking about it's the moment of healing and i'm here for it on her um, instagram but not defending her man understand something and i've told people this too many times too many times men war men war especially when it comes to women this is why we get upset and become a-holes because we understand our value in this world as men we could die that's nothing to play with and women constantly i'm not gonna say all women some women some but not all as my friend zoe williams says they don't understand they don't understand that we are dying literally in order to live we are dying protecting your integrity protecting your value protecting our children going out into the world in order to build a legacy a future for our seed that's what this is about we're dying to live men war we kill each other we can kill each other over the littlest thing but specifically over women and that's why we become buttholes because we need to, we need women to understand that we just don't open the door for you just to be opening the door for you we're letting you know hey i'm here to protect you i'm here to protect you i'm here to see that your well-being is looking great in the future that's the whole point to make sure that you're protected when i walk on the sidewalk and i walk near the street and you're over on my right hand side right whichever side it is if it, even if the street is facing my right hand side and you're on my left i'm doing that to protect your essence your being because i understand your value as well you could be the mother of my children this is what we do this for people it's not it's not a game people think you know just because you are um you're a um person who believes in um being chivalrous as a simp no you're taught those things from your parents for a reason now it's up to you as an adult to get the level of information or form some type of consciousness right to understand why we do these things it is up to you as a grown man and a grown woman to learn these things it's very simple concept people it's not hard life is so easy if you make it that way and having information makes life easier what people aren't doing is putting a microscope on jada i don't care about her being scrutinized to a certain degree i think the light needs to be put on her more she could have at least said will no 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 will don't go up there let's wait to the end let's pull him aside let's talk to him i didn't like the joke but let's pull him aside after let's go to the after party let's talk to him there but whatever you're about to do don't do it sometimes you got to protect people from their own self she should have protected will from will because now he's looking stupid over words and i'm getting tired of hearing this thing about black women talking about hair it has nothing to do with hair like that it's a joke about gi jane it's silly so don't get offended i know people with alopecia my grandmother she died she died having alopecia you know what i mean it just makes no sense to me will you know better man now you look like even more of a clown than what your wife has made you out to the world proving your manhood is not it this way anyway we know you're a man but the the life path that you chosen or should i say that you chose is on you you had a good wife before you met uh jada pinkett 
and you cast her aside and that is your own fault because it was a great business move man look it is what it is fellas don't go out like will like a chump and trying to prove your manhood to the world you're only going to make yourself look like a fool that's it watch talk and act but don't just act people create solutions i'm out